Attacks on Saudi Arabia Iranian US Conflict in Iraq and Syria International Incidents in December 2019 Iraq and the United States began discussing the partial withdrawal of American combat troops from Iraq in January 2020 during massive protests and following an escalation of tensions between the United States and Iran the Iraqi Council of Representatives passed a non-binding measure to expel all foreign troops from their country, including American and Iranian troops. Following the vote, U.S. President Donald Trump initially refused to withdraw from Iraq, but began withdrawing forces in March. In March 2020, the U.S.-led coalition began transferring control over a number of military installations back to Iraqi security forces, citing developments in the multi-year mission against the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant. By the 4th of April 2020, four bases had been transferred. The base transfers and withdrawal were accelerated due to the COVID-19 pandemic in Iraq and the threat of Iranian proxy elements. In February 2021, NATO announced it will expand its mission to train Iraqi forces in their fight against ISIL, partially reversing the US-led troop withdrawals. In April 2021, U.S. Central Command stated that there were no plans for a total withdrawal of U.S. forces from Iraq, citing continued threats posed by the ISIL insurgency and Iran-backed militias. In July 2021, President Joe Biden announced that he would end the U.S. combat mission in Iraq by the end of 2021. The United States completed its prior withdrawal of troops in December 2011. Concluding the Iraq War, in June 2014, the United States formed Combined Joint Task Force Operation Inherent Resolve and re-intervened at the request of the Iraqi government due to the rise of the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant. Iran also intervened in Iraq in June 2014. On 9 December 2017, Iraq declared victory against ISIL concluding the 2013-2017 war in Iraq and commencing the latest ISIL insurgency in Iraq. In May 2019, four merchant ships were attacked by Limpert mines in the Gulf of Oman. Tensions rose between the United States and Iran, after the United States blamed Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps for the incident. In June 2019, a nearly identical incident occurred involving two merchant ships, in December 2019, the United States began discussing with Iraq about plans to withdraw from certain bases. That same month, the K-1 air base was attacked, resulting in one American fatality and six injuries. The United States claimed that Kataib Hezbollah, an Iranian proxy group, was responsible for the attack. The United States responded by conducting airstrikes in Iraq and Syria against Kataib Hezbollah. Locations on the 31st of December 2019 through the 1st of January 2020, the United States Embassy in Baghdad was attacked in response to the airstrikes. On the 3rd of January 2020, the United States conducted an airstrike that killed Iranian Major General Qasem Soleimani and Kataib Hezbollah commander Abu Mahdi al Mahandis. Iraq protested that the airstrike violated their sovereignty. On 5 January 2020, the Iraqi Council of Representatives voted to obligate Iraq's government to work towards ending the presence of all foreign troops on Iraqi soil. U.S. President Donald Trump responded to the resolution by threatening to impose sanctions against Iraq. If they do ask us to leave, if we don't do it in a very friendly basis, we will charge them sanctions like they've never seen before ever. It'll make Iranian sanctions look somewhat tame. U.S. President Donald Trump, the 3rd of January 2020 on the 5th of January 2020. The Council of Representatives of Iraq voted to obligate Iraq's government to work towards ending the presence of all foreign troops on Iraqi soil. It was unclear if the resolution was binding and no timetable for withdrawal was set. Kisk Hazali, leader of Iranian proxy group Asaib al al haq stated, if don't leave, then they will be considered occupation forces. Trump threatened to impose sanctions on Iraq in response to the vote, according to a letter sent by a senior U.S. commander to Iraqi officials on 6 January 2020. 
the United States may be preparing to withdraw its troops. But after a while Chairman of the Joint Chiefs Gen. Mark Milley announced that it was a draft sent by honest mistake. On 8 January 2020, Iran launched Operation Mata Soleimani, conducting missile strikes against U.S. troops stationed in Iraq. 110 U.S. military personnel suffered from traumatic brain injuries. The United States responded by insisting that its troops would stay in Iraq. Speaking on the withdrawal, Trump stated, at some point, we want to get out. But this isn't the right point. Two days later, Abdul Mahdi reiterated that all foreign troops must withdraw from Iraq, including Iran. On 24 January 2020, Iraqi demonstrators marched to demand that the US withdraw its troops. Due to security concerns, some NATO countries including Canada, Germany, Croatia and Slovakia said they